All right, for this tutorial, we have our toaster, and it doesn't matter which stage of the toaster you're up to with regards to the top and the buttons on the side, but we do need the general bulk of the toaster completed for this assessment task, well, for this tutorial, sorry. We are going to get the bottom feet, the bottom feet part of the toaster, which is like this surface over here, and these little legs or feet. Uh, we could do this all in one go, but we're going to get issues when we have this complicated shape at the bottom. And from experience that we've had in class, we've tested it and we found that we have mistakes coming up there and we have areas that are, are open. Uh, also, if we do a technique where we do, like with our toaster body, the main body, where we did the views from the left and right, uh, the left and right side, sorry, not left and right, no, like the front and side view, um, the feet look kind of weird. So the idea that I'm going to go here is we are going to do the feet in two parts. Firstly, we're going to do this main silver part, like this curve over here. We'll do all that silver part and then we'll get our feet. We'll do our feet additionally later. We'll add our four feet on and then we can do all our smoothing with that feet later. So we will start our thing by having, we're gonna start by doing the first part of the feet. Um, so let's give some names so we can be less confusing. These little parts that come out, we'll call these the feet and we'll call this silver part the bottom because like, that's where the bottom of the toaster is. All right, so how I would do this is go home. I'm going to sketch and we're gonna deal in our top view. We are going to get a shape of a toaster. We want our general shape of our toaster. So like we've done in so many times before, we're going to go project, project, and we could press all these individual surfaces, but instead we'll press this button over here, which should project the entire body. Let's press that, and then we'll press this whole body, and then we press OK. And now we have all these purple lines here. We can finish this sketch as is. All right, we've finished that sketch. So now we can go to extrude and we see this lovely little sketch here and we're gonna extrude this. But instead of doing cut, we want to make a new body. And so we have this part of the, we are, we are going down. See, we got the sketch going down here. For the how far we go down, all we need to do is make sure we go past um, past the bottom, but we don't have to go past the feet. So we can do that. Also, see how over here we're getting an extra part in this little shape over here? We don't want that. So what we're going to do, depending on where your plane is, that's where the projection is going to start. So what we can do here is... We're going to choose where to start it from. See where it has the start profile plane. Instead, we're going to start it from an offset plane. And we can click this, and I believe we can uh, choose how far we want to start from. So we can start from, uh, minus 10. Try minus one, uh, minus 0.5, minus uh, two, three. That looks better. So over here, we want to make sure where it starts. It's not going to interfere with these shapes over here, so it's nice and flat. And over here, do we have any weird shapes coming up here? Not so much, so we are fine over here. Right. And then we just have to readjust our feet again because we don't want to have so much unnecessary shape. All right, and in new body, everything is good now. And we press OK. So now we have made this new body. See, we have this part over here. OK, so now uh, what do we want to We want to show just. Nope. Uh, this one, okay. And let me just get some color so we can 
Let me just get some color over here so we can um, better understand what's happening. Uh, metal, give me some colored metal. Copper, calf iron, no. What if I type in Where is the search bar? Uh, let's just get some paint then. Oh, let's just make this white. And let's make the bottom part metal. Let's just make it look like aluminium. Ah, oh, that was a bad choice because aluminium is the same color. Uh, aluminium and silver, there we go. All right, so we have this part down the bottom, lovely. Okay, close. So now what we wanna do is if we hide this body, we see how it's flat. That's not ideal. And I'm just gonna hide the canvases here as well, just so they stay out of the, out of the world. So this is not what the bottom of the part's gonna look like. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this combine tool Make sure we can see our part here. So we're going to press combine. So we want this body over here. The tool we want to affect it is we want this top part, we want that to cut and remove from that body. And so it is cutting. And then we want to keep our tools. Oh no. Is there some sort of problem here? Oh, it probably has something to do with this. Um... There is a problem combining geometry together if the attempt to join cut try to ensure that the bodies have a clear overlap. So I believe the problem might be somewhere over here. This, it doesn't particularly like this shape over here. So what we can do to fix that, we will, when we get our extrusion, uh, let's adjust our, let's cancel this. Let's adjust this extrusion. We want it to be, we want to offset it like that much more. So let's offset it by 3.5. All right, that looks better. That might work. All right. Press OK. These, these tiny little issues will be very different depending on how your original design was made. But hopefully yours works. Target body, that's a thing. Okay, now it is working. It's making a nice little shape. We want to keep our original tools. Now, if we hide this, we see how we have the, the bottom of the, um, the bottom is now curved to the base of the toaster. Oh, not that one. This one, there you go. So we have that nice little matching. So now that we have this shape here, we are going to get our canvases out again and we're going to do the same approach we did with the toaster originally where we're going to do our sketches. We're going to sketch this view. We're going to make some nice lines. Um, but we're only going to sketch the bottom part. Yeah, no, turn off stamp to grid. We're only going to sketch the bottom, uh, this how do I describe it, the, the lower part. And we are going to ignore the legs. All right, so get the line to go right through the legs. And then with this drawing, you might have to find that you're just approximating most of your sizes uh, because nothing's gonna be perfect when it comes to doing your CAD drawing. All right, and press enter. That line looks good from that perspective, and this line over here. Um, my canvas has a vertical line over here, but my actual model doesn't. So my model isn't attached, my model doesn't go out that far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend this line went up vertical, so when I get this dot and I'll attach this dot to here, I'm gonna make sure this dot finishes in some form of a verticality. Because I think that's going to look 
better. Yes. All right, I think these shapes look good. That looks good. This looks good. All right, so this is um, the, the shape that you have now. Before you finish, we're going to get some lines. So let's get a line out here, here. And these, the actual size of these lines don't matter. We just want it to be larger. We just want it to be larger than our um, lower curve. And then we press finish. And so what we're going to do now is if we go to home, if we get that shape and we extrude it, it's going to cut. And let's just take it out uh, symmetry. Right, it's going to cut out that part of the base, which is looking very similar to our original design. And then we're going to do the same thing from this view now. So let's go this view again, uh, sketch, this view over here. We are going to start our curve. We'll start from up about here. I think that looks fine. And again, we're just going to get our sketches to go larger than it. So when we cut out, we can cut out all this excess stuff we don't need. Extrude out here and make that symmetric. Okay. And look, now we're getting a really, really nice shape for the base of our toaster. Nice, okay. So, um, let's just, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna start changing some of these names because it might get confusing in the middle. So, uh, so we're gonna call this uh, main body. All right, this over here is, uh, base and then we're going to get the feet we're going to touch the feet to that so how I think I would do the feet this is an approach and I'm going to try this live with you how far are we in 13 minutes I'm gonna try this live with you right now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our sketch that we had before uh, I believe it's the no, not this sketch not this sketch uh, this sketch that we just made we're going to go edit this sketch right click edit we want to make something new. We want to make another shape. We want to make like a ring, uh, which is going to be the ring where our feet will be. So what I will do is I'm going to go to offset. I'm going to click this outer surface here and then drag this line in. And that's going to be like the thickness of the feet. Um, we have to like do a bit of visual guessing at this point because we don't really have an underground view. But if we look at that, we're going to visually look at how wide that is, and we will guess as to like that probably looks like how wide those feet will be. Uh, that's an unlucky number. Let's just pick. Let's just say the feet is uh, seven hundred millimeters. Okay. So we made that. And now uh, press OK. Hope that it didn't affect our. Nope, it didn't affect our sketches. Awesome. All right, so let's get that sketch down here. We want to unhide it. We want to extrude just this middle part now, and we want this to be again. We're going to make this a new body. Uh, okay, stop cutting. New body, please. Thank you. 
Right, we're going to make this a new body. And it doesn't actually matter, we don't, it doesn't matter where we start this sketch because we're going to cut it anyway. So uh, we'll press OK. We have this new body over here. We are going to split body, press this shape that we have here. We will, the, what we're going to split it by is we're going to split it by the steel base. And then we press OK. So now let's hide the main body, hide the steel base. We have, and let's hide the canvases. All right, so this is our tube that we made where our feet are. And this is the line that was cut due to the um, steel base. If we hide this and we hide this, this over here, this is the curvature that our little feet are going to follow. All right, so now let's show the canvases again. So with this little feet things exposed, we are going to choose these shapes. We're going to choose, uh, we're going to go sketch. We're going to sketch in this plane. Yes, thank you. We are going to pick the shape of the little feet that we want. We want the feet to look like, uh, let's say, hmm. We want to pick the straight part of the feet. Because I have an idea. Let's pick the straight, like this street, this feet over here is curved and we're still looking at it at an angle. I want us just to pick a trapezium looking shape. Uh, like this. Make sure it goes through our object. And we will do the same thing. Uh, let's see if we can just mirror this. Can I mirror this object? This object, this object, and this object. Can I mirror that by this line over here? Yeah, that looks nice, cool. Okay. Now we have these two pyramid, um, what shapes do you call those, trapeziums? Finish that sketch, we're going to extrude those two shapes, right, in symmetry, out. And so by default, this is gonna cut, right? But instead of cutting, we're going to use intersect, and it's just gonna make that part of the feet. And we'll press uh, okay. Cool, so we've got the feet are good from this view. And then we're gonna do that same thing, but from this plane. Sketch. Same thing from over here. We're gonna pick the shape that we want. We want uh, this shape down to here, down to here. I want this shape and we want to mirror it. Through this line. Do you have any lines to mirror it off? Uh, okay, we might have to make a line. Hmm. Let's just make a line right down the middle of the page. Uh, let's turn on snap to grid. So we can make a line right down here. Press enter. We're, we're only going to use this line for making our mirror. I'm going to press this shape, this shape, this shape, and this shape. And then we're going to mirror it with this line over here. So it comes out to there. Let me press OK. And we're going to do the same thing we did. We're going to extrude this and this. In symmetry out in both directions and we will just uh, intersect okay and here we have our cute little feet hmm 
is that the best looking shape we can do? Probably not. Hold on, let me pause. Okay, we're back. Um, if those type of feet are good enough for you, that's fine. But those type of feet are not good enough. They're not perfect. They look kind of, let me just finish this sketch so I can go back to the thing. All right, these feet, if we bring these feet out, uh, where is our final body? Is it this one? Um, steel base. All right, if we attach these feet, on the first look, they look fine. Um, but if we look at the bottom, it clearly isn't what the feet would look like. They probably wouldn't be triangles. Right, the feet are probably going to follow the curvature of the body on top of it. And if we actually look at our image on our canvas, if we hide these bodies, right, we see over here that we have like some shading. This is obviously a 3D image. Right, same as if we look at the from this side. So there's like a 3D object in this. So what we're going to do instead, we will keep our, keep our bodies hidden. We want to look at our sketches. We want to adjust this original sketch, that, this sketch again, that has these two curves, right? So let's go into home. We're going to, if we look at our sketches, we can see this is, uh, what sketch is this? This is sketch number nine. So we're going to edit sketch. Right, we want to make the feet on here. So how I thought is the easiest way to do it is we're going to look at this picture at an angle so we can see these feet. Let me just hide this. So we can see these feet over here. We're going to make a, a square, uh, a rectangle. Let's, we want to pick this front, so not the shadowy part of the feet, but the front face of the, front face of the feet. Pick somewhere like here. And we're going to make a rectangle. And we want this rectangle to make sure the width of it is going to be up to like that corner of that foot. And then we'll go all the way up here. So that's about right. And this is very approximate, but it's fine. Press OK. So now we have this rectangle. Now let's hide the canvas for simplicity. So we have lines here. This over here is also not what the foot would look like. right? What the foot's probably going to look like is it's going to have like, it's going to come out like, why didn't that not work? It's going to come out like this because we know because we have a shadow on one side the feet are probably going to come in like that okay so but we, what we would love to do is see this curve over here if we could come out at a right angle now the problem is if you're getting a curve off a projection you can't tell fusion that you want to be at a right angle you can't be perpendicular to that point but what we can do is we can approximate it what we're going to do is we're going to zoom all the way in reasonable zoom in we're going to make a line so if we bring our mouse over here we should attach so we have the blue crosshair and we're just going to make a straight line like this and press enter then we are going to put our mouse in that cross point again. Now as we go here, see how we get that perpendicular, see how we have this, see when I, if I zoom in, does it matter? Uh, there, see how we have that blue square in the, where at the start, showing that this is perpendicular, 90 degrees. So if we bring this out here, now that's gonna be our 90 degree line, let's press enter. Let me show you what happened if we didn't do that when I do the other one. If we attach over here, as I try to be perpendicular, it's not showing. Ah, also, we are still looking at it from this view. We're still looking at an angle. That's better. So if we try to do this perpendicular, see how it doesn't actually show up? For us to get a perpendicular constraint, we're going to zoom in. a line here and a line to here press escape zoom out pick that original point start coming out uh, 
I think we have to fix that. I think, I think that line was too small. <laughs> Let's go by that. We get a slightly larger line. Sketch, let's point over here. Is this not working? Ah, let me try that again. Maybe I did a mistake. Sketch, do this point, to this point, yes. And then we want to, there we go. Now we're working, okay, we're gonna get this shape over here. So now we have this lovely little square. And we can, uh, let's just copy this because I don't wanna have to do this on every single corner. And let's just hope, fingers crossed, that it works. Oh, we can make it work by this line over here. Let's just extend this line out, some more distance. So no matter what the size is on the other side, if we have any slight errors, they will fix themselves out. Uh, if we go here, so we're just extending these lines. All right, so we have these lines. What we're gonna do is we are going to We don't want a rotational copy, that's not going to work because it's not an exact circle, but what we're going to do is mirror these lines over here. We want this line, 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 and we want this line. And we want to mirror it. Is there any line in the middle for us to copy? Ah, oh, that's disappointing. There isn't. All right, so let's just cancel this. Let's just make some lines for us to copy. Let's say we want from this line to this line. Yep, and we're on from this line to this line. All right, so we want to mirror on those lines. Mirror, we want this and this and this and this and this and this. And we want to mirror it this way, which means it should be out here. Lovely. And then we've got to pick all of these now. Uh, to do it again. Remember, we've got to pick both sides, this side. Uh, this is the left side. And this is the right side. And we're going to mirror this by the side over here. And press OK. And now we have these cute little feet over here. We will uh, let's go and extrude these. I'm just going to hide our failure feet down here. Do we still have them? No, where are our failure feet? Go away. Hide our failure feet. Uh, let's extrude. We want this and this. And this, and this, and this. Um, and what we'll actually do for this one is, new body, is we'll actually use the height of where the feet are as an approximate for how deep we want it. So that, let's just say we want, because we want the feet of our toaster to be flat. And I think I suspect that the original image we have is not perfectly aligned. All right, so we'll do this and we press OK. Now, let's use splitting body. All right, and we want to split these four bodies that we just made, this body and this body and this body and this body. And let's split it by this face. We want this face and this face. Oh, can't we do multiple faces? No, nope, never mind. Let's just pick this body. Here we go. Press OK. Now we just hide the things we don't want. Oh, 
All right, so now, oh, look at these adorable little feet we have. Yes. Uh, so now we have these little feet. Uh, we, can, we're gonna, we are gonna merge these things together. So to merge these together, let's use uh, the filleting tool and let's see if we can fillet that. How many millimeters do we wanna fill it up by? Oh, okay, sorry. Before we do that, we have to combine it together. We have to combine. This is the major body we want. The things we want attached, we want to join. We want to join this body, and we want to join this body, and this body, and this body. And if we do this right, steel base should involve, ah yes, the steel base involves all of these, which is lovely, and now we can, I think now we can fill it, this, oh yes, it's gonna work, nice. Uh, let's make it, fill it by, well actually we'll select all of them, we'll select, um, hold on, we wanna select this foot and we wanna select, ah, could you, mm -hmm. fill it, we wanna select this tool. Sorry, not that shape. So we're selecting the joints where the feet is hitting the bottom. Four edges. Right, and what if we make this one mil? What is that gonna look like? Oh no, that's way too, what? Why is that direction even there? Are they all like that? Maybe it is too much. Let's see if we bring it down to 0 0.1, 0 0.5. All right, why are some of them reversed? Maybe I was too fast, maybe we just gotta do this a bit slower. Let's cancel this, let's just do them Hello, let's just do them one foot at a time. Because I, 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 filleting is the most temperamental part of Fusion 360. Because it sees a lot of line and lines and it's trying to do a lot of maths. Let's make this one mil. Like even then, it only did one. Only one of them worked. Hmm. Let's try it again. This is annoying me, so I wanna hide. I'm gonna hide these canvases. All right. And I will hide these bodies. I don't think we need these anymore. Okay, all right. I think that may have been one of the issues. We had multiple bodies selected. All right. So we just have these feet now. Fill it this length. We need one mil. Uh, too much. So let's go 0.5. Much better. Okay. So the same thing over here. Fill it. This 0.5. Okay. Fill it. Uh, 0.5, okay. All right, we have all these shapes now. That much, that is a much better representation 
of what their little feet look like. And now, I think that's where we will end this tutorial on today. Uh, just one last thing I want to try. I want us to try, because we're going to start to get a smooth surface around the whole outer edge. So let's just, I want to see if we select all those pieces. So you have to make sure you do th this is the the last thing you do the last thing you do is the the very edge filleting on the whole surface now this is going to be tiny so this will be 0 0.05 and is that even going to work uh one of them it's not working on too small maybe what's 0 0.01 oh is that working It's not going to work. Okay, go away, Aura, please. Disabling tangent chain. Go away. Uh, <laughs> let's try. Alright, no, it's, it's not going to allow us to do this, which is unfortunate. No. Alright. I might have to look at this a bit more later, and we'll see if we can get a s constant curvature. But for now, that should be enough for you to get these feet. Let's have a look at these. Let's have a look at these pictures from underneath. We see here the feet follow the curvature. And they look, they look a lot more of what you'd imagine real feet to look like. Let me hide these sketches and these constructions, planes. These look like little feet for a toaster. They're curved. And when we render them, they're going to look nice. Okay. Next lesson, uh, or next tutorial, uh, we'll do the top part of the toaster again. We'll get the top part with the holes. And hopefully we will get to working on the buttons. And I can show you how to do some light sources with those buttons. Um, that should be nice.